will stretch your imagination. A taste so smooth, so refreshing, so irresistible. Your only choice will be to catch it. Catch the wave. Coke. Recently, an independent research firm ran a taste test between Coke and Pepsi. And the taste more people chose was the taste of Coca-Cola. Yes, more people all across the country, when comparing Coke to Pepsi, chose the taste of Coke as the better taste. Let's look at it this way. We gave America a choice, and more people said, Coke is in. It's a hit. It's a Coke. Coke is in. Attention, Pepsi drinkers. Introducing the new taste of Coca-Cola, the best Coca-Cola ever. That's all I'm going to say. In fact, that's all I have to say. No more words. This stuff is great. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm sorry. Whew. Hi, Max Edrum here with... This is my guest. I heard you were big time in the old pop biz. <laughs> well, I'm going to take that as a no comment. So, nitty gritty time. What I'm talking about, and you're not, is that more people prefer the new refreshing taste of Coke over Pepsi. Sweating? It's true. More people are, as we Cokeologists say, catching the wave. wave. Catch it if you can, can. Catch the wave. Coke. <sighs> What's the matter, Wilbur? They changed my Coke. Something wrong with it? I don't know, but they sure changed it. Coulda asked. But coulda. I stuck with them through three wars and a couple of dust storms, but this is too much. Guess something big made them change. Right, big. Right, big. Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. Still coulda asked. And somebody out there tell me why Coke did it. Why they changed. First, they said they were the real thing. Then they said they were it. Then kablooey, they changed. So now, I'm going to try my first Pepsi. But I still want to know why Coke changed. Mm. Now I know why. Pepsi, the choice of a new generation. One of the things that they did, which no one knew at the time, was they conducted their own blind taste tests, and they were horrified to find that Pepsi actually did beat Coke a little bit more than half the time in these blind taste tests. And they thought, this can't be. I mean, for a company like Coca-Cola, which has this huge pride, we are the best, you know, there's no question that Coca-Cola is superior to this upstart, this pipsqueak, Pepsi. For them to find that these blind taste tests revealed this was really shocking. And so they started to play around with the formula. As Coca-Cola enters its 100th year, we know of no better way to thank the billions of consumers who have made Coca-Cola what it is than to give them a Coca-Cola that is better than ever. Introducing the new taste of Coca-Cola. In this country, the best have a way of getting better, and Coke just did. From today, there's a new taste, a new standard against which colas will be judged. Coke is me. The management of this company honestly and truly reveres our consumers. More than we revere a century-old formula. I've never been as confident about a decision as I am about the one we're announcing today. Well, today, Coke announced a new real thing, a change in its formula. And as Mike Jensen reports, Pepsi said, baloney. 
Pepsi is giving its employees the day off to celebrate. Pepsi says by today's action, Coke has admitted that it's not the real thing. We'll call it Drinkers of America. Thank you for participating. Please don't change the taste of Coke. When you want to fix it, it ain't broke. They can't do it. That's un-American because we fought wars to, to have a choice, to have freedom. They changed my Coke. Something wrong with it? I don't know, but they sure changed it. Coulda asked. What coulda? I stuck with them through three wars and a couple of dust storms, but this is too much. Guess something big made them change. Right, big. Right big. Soon after the formula is changed, the boss stops eating. As Robert Woodruff dies, an era comes to an end. For 60 years, Woodruff has led a company that sold the American dream. Now, he leaves the new bosses to answer the protests of an incensed American public. Let me read you a few letters. Here's one that starts, Dear Chief Dodo. Well, I passed that along to Roberto on open. But, but he told me what it said. What ignoramus decided to change the formula of Coke? The new formula is unexciting and it's as bad as Pepsi. Burn it. Here's a letter from California. I don't think I'd be more upset if you were to burn the flag in our front yard. Now, there's one consumer that we'd like to single out. He's Mr. Gay Mullins of Seattle, Washington. And I want him to know that the first case of Coca-Cola Classic will be hand-delivered to him in appreciation for his message. What a treasure. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Yeah, y'all, yeah, come on! Sports and Traffic, the radio send it back in time. Now, remember, you're going back before television, before radio, even before soft drinks. You only get to observe. Don't say a word. The slightest thing you do or say can change the entire course of history. Don't worry, Doc. Run for word. Okay, after they time travel over retro rates of the year, 1885.